Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys the first ever custom ROM for the Droid Bionic. It is the Unleashed ROM uh, by the developer Theory. Uh, this ROM is going to add lots of uh, speed, and it's going to make your Bionic even smoother than it was before. And I know you're asking the question, how in the world could it be any smoother uh, than it already is? Uh, but trust me, this ROM is going to help out with the speed, and there's also some extra added features that I'm going to show you guys uh, whenever we get to the quick review. But for now, we're going to install it. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your Bionic is rooted. Uh, just check out my video tutorial on how to root the Droid Bionic. It's a one-click. It's very simple. Once you have that done, you're going to want to install the Bionic Bootstrap application. Uh, you can also head to my channel and check out my uh, install instructions for the Bionic Bootstrap application. You can grab it from the market for $2.99. That'll probably be the easiest way to get this on your phone. And also you'll be donating to the developer uh, who we really appreciate for that application. So once you have that on your phone, just click it, hit Bootstrap Recovery, and OK. Uh, make sure before you reboot into recovery that you do have the ROM. Uh, saved onto your phone. Now it's best to get the Bionic Bootstrap from the market uh, because that is the official version. Uh, the version that is on my website at droidmoderx.com slash bionic is also the official version. You want to make sure that you grab that official version because there's been an update here that allows you to access the internal SD card uh, for flashing modifications and zips uh, from that internal SD card. So as soon as this boots up, we'll go ahead and install it. Uh, get a better, see if we can get a little closer of a shot here. Okay. So uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. We're scrolling up and down with the volume, selecting with the power, going back with the back button. So Wipe Data, and you'll scroll down to Yes. Delete all user data. I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed. Once that's finished, go back and select Wipe Cache, and Yes, Wipe Cache, and select that, but I'm going to go back. Then you want to go to Advanced, and Wipe Dalvik, and go down to Yes, Wipe Dalvik. You will select that. I'm going to go back, and back again. Then you're going to Mounts and Storage. Make sure you don't miss this part. And you're going to go down to Format System and select that and then select Yes. Once that finishes, you will go ahead and install the ROM. If you downloaded it directly to your S, I mean directly to your phone like I did, um, it'll be there on the internal SD card. Uh, if you downloaded it from your computer and transferred it, it'll be on your external SD card. So select install zip from SD card, and then if you downloaded it on your computer and transferred it to the phone, it'll be under choose zip from SD card. If you did like me, and it's, you downloaded it directly to your phone, you'll choose zip from internal SD card, and then find your download folder, which is where it will install. Select that, and then I select unleashed version 1.2x update, uh, and you will select that and you'll select yes. Once it's finished, it'll take five to seven minutes to install. Uh, there's a few messages in there. Uh, this guy apparently has a sense of humor. Um, there's a message in there that says finishing dot 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 bricking dot 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 your phone. Uh, and then of course my heart palpitated a little bit when I saw that at first. Um, but then it said just kidding. So ha ha ha. Very funny joke. Um, so once that's finished installing, you will go back and back again, back again, and reboot system now. This will take several minutes to reboot, uh, up to 10 minutes, so don't freak out. Just let it do its thing. Um, and also in the instructions, the developer says that you probably want to set your phone down for a little while and come back to it so that the kernel can set in. And uh, that way everything will be in place. So as soon as this boots back up, we are going to jump into the quick review. So you see that it has included the stock boot animation, which is pretty cool. I, I like the animation that it comes with. And like I said, it's going to take several minutes to boot up the first time, so, so don't freak out or anything. In fact, it could take up to 10 minutes. 
So as soon as this loads up, we're going to have a little quick review. Uh, just right off the bat, you'll notice that this ROM is themed, and it looks a little different. Even the lock screen has these white outlines. And you'll notice up here in the notification bar, you have the battery mod, uh, which shows the percentage. And it has a honeycomb uh, look to it. So it's, it's themed out in blue. And it does have that honeycomb look. Uh, let's open up the app drawer. And you'll see that there's some blur elements that he left, uh, which are very useful on the Bionic, such as like your DLNA and your FM radio. That's one that most developers will remove, but everybody wants back. So he left that there. The blur dialer is there. The camcorder is there. Uh, the calculator and calendar are there as well. But you notice that all the bloatware has been removed. All those Verizon apps that just take up space and uh, slow down, bog down the phone. Those are all gone, so you don't have to worry about those. He's included uh, his own wallpaper app here, so you have either no wallpaper or the theory wallpapers. And I'll just show you some of these. The one that I'm using is there, uh, but there's several more to choose from here. Um, there's something for everybody. Okay, and another thing that he's included in this ROM, uh, other than just his tweaking and optimization, uh, he's deodexed it, debloated it. Uh, he's optimized the SD card read, which is very helpful and useful. Uh, you notice that the phone booted up quickly, and I was able to access my app drawer very quickly because of that SD card optimization. He's tweaked and optimized this entire framework so that it's a lot snappier, it runs a lot smoother. Um, so there's been improvements from the stock blurry ROM just in that. Uh, like I said, it's custom custom theme there, and you can change that theme, which I'm about to show you guys how to do that. Um, all the blur apps are there, including like your social networking apps and widgets. And he's uh, on the transition here, he's tweaked that as well to make it a little quicker. Uh, so lots of optimizations and tweaks. And you'll notice here the Bionic Toolbox. And this is where you're going to apply all your custom mods and ROMs. Uh, he'll put the updates to the ROMs in this toolbox. But you see that you can return to the stock theme. There's a 3G icon fixer if you wanted the stock blur. Uh, 3G icon. There's a wireless tether hack in there. Now I tried that hack there. And it did not work for me, but he said that he's working on that. He's going to get that working. Um, if that doesn't work for you, check out my free wireless tether on Droid Bionic video to get that for you. And there's also a D Blue uh, 3, I'm sorry, D Blue theme. This is for version 1.1. This should be updated by this evening. And that's just a black and white theme, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, the theory. Okay. And you see there, the latest updated ROM is there, Unleashed version 1.2 Blurry. I know that he's going to continue to add things to this box, uh, such as mods and, and different themes and stuff. So there's more to come for that Droid Bionic box. Um, lots of great stuff here, guys. And it really does improve the performance of the Bionic. I would suggest that you check it out. Just head to the link in the description to check out the... Unleashed theme. Also head to droidmoderx.com slash bionic for all the latest in root ROMs, mods, and hacks for your uh, bionic phone. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E not a 3. And also subscribe to this channel. Thanks guys. Intoxicated world.